Hello, welcome to another episode of Made Through Fi, the show where you guys send in suggestions of clothing or accessories that you've seen online or on the high street, and then I do my best to recreate them. A bunch of you have been suggesting that I try and make bell sleeve shirts. And what with the 70s revival that's going on in fashion at the moment, they can be found everywhere. However, I thought this would be something that wouldn't be too difficult to make for ourselves, so let's give it a go. Now, I showed you all how to make t-shirts back in episode 37 of Make Thrift Buy. We're basically gonna be following the exact same process as in that tutorial. The construction of the shirt is basically exactly the same as the construction of the t-shirt in that video. And the only thing that I'm really doing differently is altering the sleeves to make them longer and bell-shaped. So if you wanna know how to make this top from start to finish, Follow the tutorial for making a t-shirt in Make Thrift by 37 and then come back here to see how to make and attach the sleeves. So the shirt that I'm going to use to copy my pattern from is this slightly oversized red top, which I am now just realizing looks stolen from Where's Waldo's Closet. Anyway, I traced around the back and the front of the bodice and I traced it down onto pattern paper this time so that I could reuse my pattern again and again. Then I traced around the sleeve and this is where this tutorial is going to differ a little from the other one. I used a slightly different method of copying out the sleeves for the top. The front and the back of the sleeve are actually slightly different shapes because as you will notice here, the front bodice and the back bodice pieces are slightly different. So the front and the back of the sleeve actually need to differ a little bit to compensate for this. So first I folded the bottom part of the sleeve out of the way because I wasn't worried about making the sleeve pattern long yet. Then I traced around the sleeve like this and to trace out the armhole curve here, I placed my finger on the seam that connects the sleeve to the bodice, and I basically just folded the fabric back, making dashed marks where the two fabrics join up, which I then connected with my pen. Then I flipped the sleeve over like this, lining up the top of the sleeve with this middle line here. And then I traced around the back of the sleeve in the same way. all up that gave me this. Notice how the slope for the back of the sleeve is slightly straighter and flatter than the front. Now the method I gave you for copying sleeves in this other tutorial where the front and the back are the same is still valid, I'm just showing you another way to do this. Both methods will give you perfectly fine sleeves for your t-shirt but this method is just slightly more correct because it allows for the natural shape and movement of the body. Although when you're using stretchy t-shirt fabric it doesn't really matter because stretchy fabric is very forgiving. So right now we've ended up with a pattern piece for a short t-shirt sleeve but obviously we need to make it longer. So I placed this short sleeve pattern piece on top of a much larger piece of paper and then I traced around this part of the sleeve. Then I took one of my favorite long sleeve shirts and I measured how long the sleeve was on that. I added a couple of inches, one for hemming allowance and another to make the sleeve just a little bit longer. All up that gave me a measurement that was 24 inches so I drew a mark 24 inches away from the very top part of the sleeve. Now to make a long sleeve, all I need to do is to extend the arm 24 inches down from the top of the sleeve like this. The length of this line here is just the circumference of my wrist plus one inch. And these straight lines here simply join up everything. So that's how you make a long sleeve, but to make bell sleeves, what I am going to do next is to make the end of the sleeves look like a bell. So to make a bell, I made a mark 10 inches up from the end of the sleeve on both sides of the sleeve. And then I extended the sleeve out evenly on both sides like this. I drew a curved line in this angle here to smooth out the sides of the sleeves where the bell begins. I'm going to curve the end of the sleeve up like this so that the angle at each corner here is 90 degrees. I just eyeballed this. If you wanted to do the specific maths to get this perfect, then you can, but it's fine to just eyeball it. For a more dramatic bell sleeve, you extend it even further. And for a more subtle one, you would bring this in. I also drew a little F and a B on the front and the back parts of the sleeve pattern so I would remember which was which. And that is my sleeve pattern done. Next, I cut out two sleeves from my fabric using the new pattern with the stretch of the fabric running in this direction. 
Then after I sewed the front and the back of the bodice pieces together at the shoulders like this, the next step is to attach the sleeves to the bodice. I lined the sleeve up with the armhole like this with the back of the sleeve matching up with the back of the bodice and the front of the sleeve matching with the front of the bodice. And then I sew the sleeve on in the exact same way as I did in Make Thrift by 37. In fact, the remainder of the construction of the t-shirt is basically the exact same as in Make Thrift by 37. The only exception is that I used a different finishing for the raw edges of the fabric at the ends of the sleeves. I hemmed the end of these sleeves, which I did by first turning the shirt inside out and then folding the top of the sleeve down one inch and then I sewed all the way around the opening of the sleeve. And that's the shirt done. So how did I go? up making two shirts from stretchy thrifted jersey fabric. This black one was the first one that I made but the material was really sheer, it was really thin and it was pretty weird to work with. It kind of twisted in this annoying way and it made the seams look a little bit bunched up. The second one is a thicker blue jersey and this worked out a lot better. The seams and the bells look really nice and smooth but I'm still going to wear both because I think the black one is definitely still wearable and I already love it. And that's it. It's pretty easy to make if you're familiar with working with stretchy fabric. And if not, I've got some tips in this video here to help you out. And the finished product is really damn cute and also on trend. I'm gonna try making this with a more tightly fitted t-shirt. I quite like the dropped shoulder version that I made here, but I wanna try it with a couple of different styles of shirt. So anyway, the conclusion is, Make this for yourself. By the way, thank you so much if you are subscribed to my channel because I just hit the very exciting arbitrary milestone of 500,000 subscribers. That's half a million people. I can't even comprehend how many people that is. That's bigger than the population of Malta, of Iceland. I'm really glad you guys seem to like what I do because I really enjoy doing it too. If you wanna see me being a massive dork when the subscriber count ticked over to 500,000, you can see that video on my Instagram feed. Anyway, ugh, thank you. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon for making these videos possible. To become a Patreon supporter, go to patreon.com forward slash Annika Victoria.